There are two different reasons people feel the need to reinvent themselves. The first is when you have to make a change. In other words, when it's not your choice. If you're getting divorced, you've got to move on. If your company goes under, you've got to find another job because you need to make money to survive. The second reason is when you want to make a change. Maybe you feel like you've been wasting your life up until now, or maybe you just think it's time for something different. What I want you to know is that regardless of which of those two categories you fall into, making a change is possible. And your 30s is actually the best time to do that. So in this video, I'm gonna be revealing five steps and five strategies for reinventing yourself so you can improve your life, improve your finances, improve your health, your mental health, and live the life that you want. Sound good? Stick around. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and on this channel, I give you all the advice and inspiration you need to dress well, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. So what does it actually mean to reinvent yourself? I'll tell you what I think it means, but first, I wanna talk about what it's not. Reinventing yourself is not an escape, and it's not a way to run away from your past. We are products of our own experiences and the choices we've made, and to reinvent yourself, the key is to take those experiences, take those lessons you've learned, both the positive and the negative, and use them to improve yourself and to make changes that will allow you to make and live the life that you want. Now, if you've decided that it's time to reinvent yourself and you've really made that commitment to do it, chances are you're very excited. You're looking forward to the change, to all the positive things that will come from it, and all the happiness that you will experience as a result of making this change. But what you need to know is that it's gonna take work because when it's time to reinvent yourself, you have to try. The best way to overcome the challenges that come with reinventing yourself is to really know yourself and your abilities. Ask yourself and be honest with yourself about what you're good at and also what your limitations or weaknesses are. Be practical and realistic with this stuff up front so you can create the best possible scenario for yourself to succeed. So for example, let's say that I wanted to completely change my life right now and the thing that I really wanted to do was to become a professional basketball player. First of all, I suck at basketball, even when I practice. Second, I'm five feet, nine inches tall. And third, I'm 44 years old. It doesn't matter how bad I might wanna be a professional basketball player. It's not gonna happen. And the fact that I can be honest and realistic with myself about the reasons it would never happen will save me from wasting a lot of time, wasting a lot of energy, and ultimately, being disappointed in the end. I'm not saying you can't dream big, but just always have that reality check in place. Another very important thing to think about before you jump into reinventing yourself is to align your goals with what really matters to you and what your needs are. If you can tap into that and be motivated by those intrinsic things, that stuff within you, then you will be much more likely to succeed and be happy than if you are motivated by some external force or what someone else wants you to do or thinks that you should do. This is huge, so spend some time really thinking about what exactly it is that you want. Now, once you've done that, it gets exciting because you can start taking those first steps. And what I'm gonna do now is to take you through each of those five steps, and then we're gonna get into five specific strategies that you can use to reinvent yourself. Step number one is to make a plan. Not having a plan will almost always lead to failure. Now, I know we sometimes hear stories about people who just sort of wandered into something spontaneously and ended up having massive success. And those are great stories because they don't happen that often. It's very unlikely for something like that to happen. So it's not something that you should count on. Along the lines of really knowing yourself, making a plan to reinvent yourself really requires a thorough and honest assessment of your current financial situation, emotions, and mental state. As I mentioned before, it's important to be practical and realistic to give yourself the best chance of succeeding. And as you make this plan, have your goal in mind, but don't get hung up on figuring out every single step that you need to take and putting them in the right order. If you do that, it's very easy to never even get started. So think about it this way. Instead of following a map, you're using a compass. You know that you're going in the right direction, but going in the right direction doesn't always mean following a clear path. Step number two is to visualize success. 
Now, I mentioned this in a previous video I did titled 10 Easy Ways to Be Better Every Day, which I highly recommend checking out once you're done here, linked right up there, because a lot of those tips are applicable to being successful at reinventing yourself. Visualizing success is important because what you're actually doing in the process of visualization is training your subconscious to be aware of the goal that you want to achieve. This works because what happens is your subconscious reminds you consistently about that goal. And it gets really cool because that then trains your brain to respond as if the outcome were true in the present moment. It's pretty cool and I know it works because I do it myself. And it doesn't have to be a big thing that takes a ton of your time, but you do have to do it consistently. I recommend taking five minutes every single day, maybe right when you get up in the morning. It's not a lot of time, but it is time well spent setting yourself up for success. Step number three is to set realistic goals. I sort of already touched on this with my wanting to be a professional basketball player example, so we don't really need to get too deep into that, but what I want to add is that setting a realistic goal doesn't mean you can't aim high. Please don't think I'm saying you have to go from one menial thing to another because that's not what reinventing yourself is all about. Just understand that the higher you aim and the loftier your goal is, the harder you are going to have to work to make it happen. Step number four is to develop positive habits. Now, if you've ever been in a really good routine, you know the type of positive effect that it has on you. When you're in a groove, you wanna stay in that groove because it's working for you and you're seeing the benefits firsthand. I always like to use the example of exercise. You know, when you commit yourself to a daily exercise routine, you get to a point where your body kind of craves it. And if you miss a day or two days, you really feel it. And it feels like your body is telling you like, hey man, I need to do this thing because it's making me feel really good. Now it's great when you're in that routine, but getting into it can sometimes be a little difficult. And since we're talking about reinventing yourself in your 30s, which implies that you're aging a little bit, let's talk about a simple positive routine that you can start right now that will help you look and feel your best as you transition into this next chapter of your life. I'm talking about skincare and particularly Tiege Hanley's skincare system, who I'm proud to partner with for this video, because they make it super easy to get into that routine. And speaking from experience as a Tiege Hanley user for over a year and a half now, this stuff actually works. So if Tiege is new to you, all you really need to get started is their basic plan. Uh, that's a face cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, AM moisturizer with SPF to protect your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer for the important repair process that happens while you sleep. Personally, as a 44-year-old guy, I'd recommend going with Tiege's level three system, which adds in a firming serum and an eye cream. Now, I mentioned that Tiege makes it super easy to get into a routine, and here's what I mean. When you get that box in the mail and you open it up, there's a card and that card tells you what to do, it tells you when to do it, and it tells you how much of the product to use. Add to that, when you subscribe, you don't even have to think about going out to get some more when you run out because it automatically comes to your door every month. So in addition to great skin, when you join Tiege, there's lots of perks as well, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, free US shipping, as well as low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. All you gotta do is click that first link in the description to get Tiege Hanley for 30% off and choose a dop kit, hand towel, or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift. So click that link to get started today. All right, so that brings us to step number five, but I wanna leave that one to the end and you'll see why. So instead, what we're gonna do is to jump into the five strategies you can use to reinvent yourself in your 30s. Strategy number one is to step outside of your comfort zone. If you're planning to make a change as big as reinventing yourself, it is so important to be open and willing to break out of the safety zone that you've created for yourself. Hey, it's really easy to kind of sit back and be where you are, but if you're ready to reinvent yourself, sitting back and being where you are is not what you wanna be doing. If you're gonna completely change things, be prepared to be a little uncomfortable, but use all those situations as learning experiences because you never know where you're going to end up. I started this business just under 10 years ago, and before that, I didn't have photos taken all the time, I never talked to a camera, and to be honest, it felt really weird at first, but I looked at it as a challenge, as something new, 
as something to get better at because in order to achieve the vision I had, which was to help as many guys as possible dress well, gain more confidence, and achieve their goals, it was something that I needed to do in the medium that I was working in. It wasn't easy. It was definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I kept at it. I kept working at it. And I'm glad that I did because it has really helped me create a completely new life for myself. Strategy number two is to change your style. Hey, you're reinventing yourself. New life, new look. All I'm saying is it can't hurt because if there's one thing and if there's one truth about clothes and your appearance, it's that it has an incredible power to change how you feel about yourself as well as how people see you, right? I mean, you've probably heard before, dress for the job that you want not for the job that you have. So when it comes to reinventing yourself, consider some style changes to help put you on the path that you want to be on. Strategy number three is to learn something new. If you're really trying to reinvent yourself, you've gotta make some big changes. Don't just incrementally tweak something here and there thinking that eventually you'll get to where you wanna go. It doesn't work that way because if you're just doing little things here and there, it's gonna always feel like it always felt. What you need to do is is to turn everything upside down. Like that. Try something completely different, something you never thought you'd do before. Or maybe reconnect with something that you used to love doing but you haven't had time for or haven't made time for. The most important thing is that whatever it is that you choose to do, that you enjoy doing it. Reinventing yourself is all about making changes that will lead to a more positive, and happier life with a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. And if you don't love what you're doing, none of that's gonna be possible. Strategy number four is to accept changes. Change is one of the only constants in life. Things are always gonna be changing and how you respond to those changes will determine your outcome. So accept them and channel that energy into something positive. It's a classic glass half empty, glass half full scenario. Optimism will take you a very long way, especially when you're able to turn something negative into a positive. Strategy number five is to not fear failure and actually be ready for it. The one thing that all successful people have in common is that they have failed and they've probably failed multiple times. Now, the thing that sucks is when you look at someone who's successful, all you're seeing is that they're successful. What you're not seeing is the number of times they've failed to get to that point. But successful people are not afraid to fail. A failure is an opportunity to learn. A failure is an opportunity to get better. A failure is just another step on the path to success. Reinventing yourself. Things are gonna change. Things are gonna feel uncomfortable. Things are going to be new. And with all that stuff going on, there will be some failures. But if you accept it, and use it as a way to go forward, you will be successful. Which brings us to perhaps the most important part of this whole process. Step number five to reinventing yourself. So what I'll say is, you know, if you've gone through all of these steps, if you've made a plan, you visualize your success, set realistic goals, develop some positive routines, none of that matters unless you do something about it. Start now. Things don't have to be perfect. In fact, thinking too much about perfection is something that will always keep you from taking that first step. I remember when I was in grad school and I was in this class that I had to write a lot every single week. Now, I'm the kind of person that generally needs to map out everything before I do it, especially when I'm writing. But I would get so bogged down in making that outline and trying to figure out every single detail that I would just kind of like freeze up and it became very difficult for me to write anything at all. The advice my professor gave me was to just vomit on the page. Just start writing. It will come to you and you will be able to piece it all together. And you know what? He was right. And just starting is the most important step. Thanks once again to Tish Hanley for sponsoring this video and reminder to click the first link in the description to receive 30% off and your choice of adopt kit, hand towel, or body scrub and scrubber combo as a free gift with your first box.